welcome to Mochi's Mochi Style. Hi everyone and to welcome back. I hope you guys are doing great. Thank you so much for tuning in today. If today is your first time seeing me, Welcome to Moji Style. I would definitely love for you to stick around by hitting that subscribe button and make sure that you turn on your notification bell so you can be notified every single time when I do upload a video. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get started. And here's my inspiration here. This is from West Elm. The full size is going for $549. And here is what we're going to be creating ours with. This is from Home Depot. It's a decorative panel and it is going for $34.21. You can also pick this up from Amazon for $37.99. So while I was on at Home Depot, I did pick up a plywood for $6.79 to put behind my panel. And it is a 2x4 and it fits perfectly behind the panel. I did get a different color panel because they didn't have the white available. But white is an option right now if you do decide to get it so you don't have to spray paint it like I did. So here is my panel and here is my wood. And I'll also be using this mirror contact paper on my wood. I've used this before in a couple of my DIYs. It's a 24 by 78 mirrored contact paper. So this is what I'll be using to hang my uh, board. I have one in the middle, one on the left, and one on the right. And to secure this to the wood, I am using the small nails here, two on each. So here's my wood. I've already applied my contact paper onto the wood. I've done this in several of my DIYs before, uh, so I'll leave a card up here if you want to see how that is done. It's pretty easy and pretty straightforward. So next, I am just placing my panel onto my wood just to kind of have an idea of how I want it positioned. Next, I flipped my uh, panel over so that we can begin applying our adhesive onto the back of the panel. So I decided to use E6000 for this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply all my E6000 first onto the outer corner of this panel. And then I applied it into the inner part of this panel. And this is the back of the panel again. And you wanna be generous with the E6000, but at the same time, you don't want too much of it on there um, so that you don't make a mess when you place it on your wood. So next, I flipped my panel over to place it on my wood. And you have to be very careful with this. So you kinda of have to know where you wanna position before you place it onto the wood. So I'm basically just placing that onto my wood and then I'm just going to go ahead and just press it in place so that the E6000 can have contact uh, with the bottom part of it. Next I'm just going to go ahead and place my clamp all around this piece here to hold both pieces together so that the E6000 can properly dry. And here is the final result of my DIY here. I really, really love the way this turned out. And it really goes well with my style. I think it turned out so beautiful. I'm so happy with the way this turned out. Um, as you can see here, the contact paper is reflective, so you get that mirrored effect. And here it is here compared to the West Elm for $549 for the full size. And I think it really looks pretty close to the inspiration and I just love the way it turned out. Um, this is in my guest room. I do have an accent wall behind it 
that's very bold so I kept everything else pretty simple um, let me know what you guys think if you were to do this would you paint yours white would you paint it gold would you paint it silver would you use the mirrored contact paper let's get the conversation going down in the comment section I would love to hear from you guys and there's also a way to use this as a wall art which because this is a very pretty panel you can use it as a wall art I'm gonna go ahead and show you how that is at the end of this video so here it is here I have it as a wall art and it's really beautiful the panel is really really beautiful so I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up and if you're new to our channel I would love for you to join the Moji Style family by hitting that subscribe button and until next time you guys have a blessed week I love you all bye bye